Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at lobbytools.com. Florida remains one of the most restrictive states for advanced registered nurse practitioners. They have either a master's or doctor's degrees, but they're not medical doctors. We have a holistic approach here. Elizabeth Markovich says the regulations, which require a doctor to sign off on just about everything they do, ends up hurting patients in the end. When we want someone to even show up and do physicals at, at, at a school for free and volunteer, we need a physician to to provide so-called supervision, even though they're not there. A doctor may supervise 10 or more practitioners, charging them each $1,000 a month just for his signature. The nurse practitioners have been fighting for more than a decade to practice with less supervision. Let nurse practitioner do their job. It was a top priority of House Speaker Jose Oliva. I think there's a, there's a problem with perception on that issue. People believe that we want nurse practitioners to be doctors, and we don't. We want them to be able to practice to the full extent of their training. Well, you go through all that training to become a doctor. But the Florida doctor, Medical Association fought nurse, back, and their I opposition swayed nurses, both the Senate president and thing, governor. So. But in the hurricane-ravaged panhandle, Stan Whitaker believes having the authority to practice within their training would have meant quicker care for injured residents. This protocol is antiquated and outdated. 22 other states offer ARNP's full practice authority. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.